October 10, 2018 Patrick Ecclesian, Bravo Bethany Frankel reportedly wasted no time moving on from her late beau. Bethany Frankel is moving on from her years-long relationship with the late Dennis Shields, just two months after Shields tragically died of an apparent drug overdose. Multiple sources have confirmed to People magazine that the Real Housewives of New York City star is dating real estate developer and film producer Paul Burnin. According to Burnin's LinkedIn page, he is the co-founder and partner of Burn Later, a Los Angeles-based film finance and production company. Among Burnin's accolades are films including Drinking Buddies and Best Kept Secret. The outlet revealed Burnin graduated with a B.A. from Boston University's College of Communication and also has his master's in real estate from New York University. As for his career in real estate, his LinkedIn page revealed Burnin is a managing partner at Rubicon Real Estate, LLC, which owns and manages a portfolio of investment properties in New England, Texas, and Utah. Frankel and Burnin were first linked to one another romantically earlier this week after the Real Housewives of New York City star was seen walking hand in hand with Burnin in Boston. Frankel was also seen kissing her rumored new man near Boston College, where she was photographed holding his face as he leaned in for the kiss. While Burnin appears to work in all different areas around the country, his LinkedIn page says he's located in the greater Boston area. Following Frankel's visit to Boston, the longtime reality star took to Twitter, where she gushed over her love for the town. Each time I revisit Boston, I love it more and more, what a beautiful city that has evolved so much since my days living here, she wrote. Paul Burnham can be seen in the photo below, second from the left. Since losing her late boyfriend Dennis Shields to a rumor drug overdose in August, Bethany Frankel has been chronicling her grief on Instagram and Twitter and channeling her heartbreak into positivity as she continues to assist in Hurricane Florence relief efforts. The work I am doing for Hurricane Relief is a good outlet, but I'm trying to not get too immersed and not avoid the grieving process and feeling, she told People last month. I am going through an emotional storm and must go through and not around it. People are suffering way more than I am," she added. People have helped me get through my despair with their love and inspiration and now it is my turn.